The Long Island Railroad will ban alcohol on overnight weekend trains out of Penn Station in hopes of curbing violence and disruption. The booze ban will start May 18th and affect all trains out of Penn between midnight and 5 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday mornings. After assaults on LIRR, conductors have been on the rise. MTA police officers will be positioned on platforms to check passengers for alcohol. Riders found carrying alcoholic beverages will not be allowed to board trains with the drink. The LIRR Commuter Council has opposed a full ban on alcohol, arguing that being allowed to drink on trains should be a perk that comes with a costly ticket. And commuters like Mike DeMarco feel as if it won't make any difference. I think the alcohol on Saturday nights on the train is really going to do anything. Most of the time people don't drink later on at night, they're usually drinking on the way too. So it's not really going to make that big of a difference. Is it fair for everyone? Now the funny thing is, if they sell it, people are going to drink it. You can't stop it. There's no such thing as stopping it. Because you can't drink and drive, right? But they sell beer at a gas station. Now, answer that question. Some say all the drinking doesn't really take place between the hours of 12 and 5 a.m. anyway. So is there any point? Yeah. What's going to stop people who pregame between 12 and 5? They're ready to the bars, they're ready to the bars, they're ready to the bang, and all that. The LIRR already bans alcohol on trains during specific holidays, including New Year's Eve and St. Patrick's Day. Police say those bans help reduce incidents on the trains. We'll see if this experiment works. Broadcast News 1, Nick Barada.